In 10.15, the mount game is going to change, kind of, really a little bit, well, maybe not as much as it changed in the Dragonfly release with the Dragon Riding, but maybe more, because we will get Dragon Riding outside of the Dragon Isles. And if that doesn't tickle your fancy, maybe, maybe all of the new mounts will, because we do have a bunch of new mounts and we don't really do these kind of videos, but... Mounts have been pretty cool in Dragonflight and considering that we're going to steadily go into outside of the Dragon Isles and Dragon Ride, that's actually an exciting time for mount riders and collectors anywhere. So maybe this is the time to collect new mounts and what better way to do it than hopping into the game. And uh, hey, if you like this kind of video, consider hitting the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out and we would be grateful for it because, uh, I mean, why wouldn't we? It's, it's pretty cool that you're doing that. It's pretty cool that you already clicked it, huh? Let's talk about mounts. Now, based on all of the testing and data mining that has been done for 1015, although in-game testing was a little bit more difficult to achieve, we will be dragon riding outside of the Dragon Isles because we know that we have achievements for dragon riding in Kalimdor and the Eastern Kingdoms, which is fantastic because why wouldn't we want dragon riding? I mean, we called it that we want dragon riding outside of the Isles and they said that, hey, maybe, maybe, we don't know, maybe. Well, that maybe is now maybe. And on top of all of that, we will probably have new mounts also because, well, I say probably since it's not 100% because they haven't confirmed it yet, but we have some data mined mounts that could be a thing since we know for sure that we're going to have races in uh, all of the zones. I mean, just look at all of these achievements that you can get for all of the races in all of the zones and there's so many of them and on top of that the wonderful people on wowhead have data mined a bunch of mounts that seem to be uh getting the dragon riding animations in the actual files of the game so we have quite a few i'm not gonna go over all of them but maybe a couple just to point out some things we have the swift nether drake which uh you know it's pretty cool we have onyx nether wing drakes and, you know, all sorts of colors for the Netherwing Drakes, Netherwing Drakes, which I guess kind of goes hand in hand with the fact that the July's uh, trading post reward is the Grotto Netherwing Drake thing. So maybe getting all of the other ones from the reputations is, you know, part and parcel with all of this. Okay, if you haven't gotten them yet, maybe, you know, go do your Burning Crusade reputations and get all the Netherwing Drakes. And more than just that, we have Merciless Nether Drakes, which, you know, are the PvP version. So it's looking like the TBC version is getting a lot of this. We have the actual Drakes, which I believe these are from Wrath of the Lich King. The Azure, Blue, Bronze, Red Drakes, and all of that stuff. Oh, they might also be TBC, but I, I, I for the life of me, I cannot remember right now. I think they're pretty much, pretty much Wrath, because we also have... The Proto Drakes being included in all of this, and there's like hundreds and dozens and millions and quadrillions of mounts that will receive the Dragon Riding animations, which is really cool since this is kind of really what we uh, pointed out whenever the Dragon Riding discussion being used outside of the Dragon Isles has been brought up since, you know, will the mounts that can do that be dragons? Because uh, we have 500, 700 mounts, however mounts are in the game that are not Dragon Riding mounts, and it kind of feels a little bit shitty to not be able to use those in this cool new system. So there we go. We have animations. I don't know if these animations will be applied to other sp uh, type of non-dragons. Well, we do have, for instance, the Dread Raven, which is not really the dragon or the Armored Sky Screamer, which I believe it's a Warlord of Draenor. So it's not just coming to the Drakes, although the majority of these are pretty much Drakes. I assume they might need a similar skeleton. And uh, I don't know, will we get this on Griffins? That would be pretty cool. We do have them on Pterodax with the Spectral Terror Wing. Terror, Jesus, man. And a lot of other PvP mounts. So this is really cool. It's finally something that we've been asking for once uh, the expansion has been released. And once Dragon Riding has been announced, we not only will be able to Dragon Ride outside of the Isles, but also a lot of our actual mounts have been included um, at least in the files. I don't know if we're going to get all of them in 10.15 release, but they are in the game. So that's yes. And let's uh, step away a little bit from the actual dragon riding and talk about really cool mounts coming with the Time Rifts content. The Time Rift content is a new style of scenarios and events that are going to happen in the 10.15. We're going to have a video on it, so don't worry about it. 
and you will be able to get all sorts of mounts uh, from the actual uh, vendors that you know you will be getting currencies for but there's possible some drops as well with data mine for instance valiant which is uh supposedly in the game files dropping from nax ramus but it could just be from one of the time rifts that might include nax ramus we haven't had the chance to test those because they're pretty random so we didn't get the nax ramus uh, time rift yet but this is one of them and from the actual vendors we have a bunch of cool mounts we have the ravenous black griffin because yes griffins are always really cool with the new griffin model of course the gold toad albatross which is uh kind of reminiscing bfa the it's it's a big mount uh, not bfa but yeah bfa with the island expeditions i think that's where we might have seen the first albatross style mount the fellstorm dragon oh and by the way all of these mounts are themed to a particular expansion from a particular vendor i can't remember the black griffin uh, to which expansion it was pertaining to. Obviously, the Gold Toad Albatross is BFA. The Fellstorm Dragon is Legion, because that's, you know, when we got the Storm Dragon mount. We also have a Wrath of the Lich King one, which is a Scourge-bound Frostbrood Vanquisher, which uh, I think the original mounts were from the achievements back in ICC. I know I have one of them, but I did it such a long time ago that I cannot really remember uh, the details. We have the White War Wolf, which is clearly classic. It reminds me of the Altrak Valley uh, War Wolves or the, um, what is it, Frost Wolf's Mount, Frost Wolf Paul or something like that. The Sulphur Hound, which, is this Cataclysm? I guess, you know, it's it's the core hound, but it's kind of green-yellowish because the, gre the actual green model is from Blacksmith, while the reddish is from the 10-year anniversary for the uh, Molten Core, which I have because I like it. And, of course, Juggernaut Perfected from what we would imagine be um, Siege of Orgrimmar slash Mist of Pandaria time uh, mount because the you know the recolor version of this drops from Siege of Orgrimmar. And not only will we have all of these, but we will have in the Mega Dungeon the Quantum Cursor, which is probably one of the most anticipated mounts, and this is gonna change the mount system as well a little bit because we still don't know what it does. So essentially, what this is the uh, Reigns of the Quantum Cursor is an item that drops in the Mega Dungeon. And to, you know, quote its description, observe the Quantum Cursor, causing it to take the form of a random mount from the past. And from what we know, I think Mr. GM tweeted that uh, the Quantum Cursor turned into the Midnight's Eternal Reigns, which is the Legion upgraded version of the Midnight. And that's really cool. Obviously, since it's a cursor, a lot of people speculated that it can turn only into horse-style mount. So everybody's thinking about Invincible, clearly. And it's RNG. We don't know all of the details of its RNG. And Wowhead has kind of data mined some correlation between existing mounts to the cursor. And we have the Death Chargers Reigns, Reigns of the Rev Raven Lord, Swift White Hawk Strider, uh, Reigns of the Infinite Time Reaver, by the way, a time walking mount as well, Swift Zulian Panther. So it's not just uh, coursers. If these data mines tend to be true, or prove to be true rather, and they do feature into the loot pool of what the uh, quantum cursor can turn into, that's great. But whether or not this is true, the fact that the quantum cursor can turn into a random mount gives uh, Blizz and the devs the ability and the freedom to actually attribute it to all of the mounts. It can be TCG mounts, it can be mounts no longer work for whatever reason I, I know there's like a million mounts that i don't know about yet and this is really really cool because it opens up first of all the content in 1015 dungeon gives you a, a much bigger incentive to actually do the dungeon outside of just getting the loot and for cosmetics because we miss this we need more of this so this is fan freaking tastic on top of all of this a couple of things will change for instance now that you will now when you will reach level 30 among all of the stuff that we will cover in the 1015 uh, video that we'll have ready for you guys uh, you'll get a quest called time to fly both for the alliance and the horde and each one will reward one of the two mounts the horde one will have the exuberant scarlet pterodax which is a recolored zandalari style pterodax and the horde will have the sprightly proud Moor griffin again you know kind of themed towards bfa this leads me to believe that they will continuously let bfa be the intro expansion for new players as they level up since this is themed towards BFA when you get to level 30 instead of any other expansion. So that kind of ties it into maybe some of their future plans on leveling content not actually changing that much. But that's neither here nor there. It's for maybe a different video. 
plus we will have a uh, outside of all of this we will have a hollow zen customization for dragon riding uh which is basically a fell pumpkin which is fantastic but this is cool that they're they're going to be adding event customizations for dragon riding and this obviously uh, can escalate into more stuff maybe we'll have winter veil things maybe we'll have lunar festival things instead of just having storm mounts for these events we'll actually have customization for current mounts well dragon riding so far but maybe they can apply to outside dragon riding dragons although i kind of have my own personal doubts for that but this is a really cool world of new mounts and new customization mounts that we can go for taking the mount collections to the next level because we kind of had to it's been a while since you know this has been improved i think i don't know when the collection tab was at it was that cataclysm or mop or wad some sometime in the past doesn't matter but it it's about time that we elevate that to the next level what is the mount that you're most excited for the quantum cursor is definitely for me because that sounds like a lot of fun i would imagine that it cannot transform into a mount that you already have because that would be silly but uh i'm excited for that <laughs> let us know in the comment section below which uh you know attracted your attention the most and thank you patrons for supporting the content making these videos possible we really really appreciate your support it definitely goes a long way to uh to helping us make this style of videos and if you're if you like the content you see consider checking the patreon you don't have to do anything you just click because we have some goodies there maybe something actually catches your eye and hey we would love to have you on the team thank you for watching the video see you next time bye bye i've been loving it then i still love it now still i play wow still i play wow getting better every day let me show you how because still i play wow still i play wow it's getting harder to stay but at the end of the day it's a guilty pleasure so just log in and play whether it's classical retail i'ma do a slash bow still i play wow